So it means like the more rooms that you have in your property, the more revenue that you will get. So simple as like that. But that's not it, all right? You need to think about this as well. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, your local incredible realtor with EXP Realty. Today I'm going to talk about or I'm going to give you my 5 tips or my best 5 knowledge how to find a investment property. And if you're going to use the investment property for short-term rental or long-term rental, make sure to watch this video from this start until the end because I'm going to give you all my best knowledge how to find this property for you. All right? But before you start this video, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And the most important thing, smash that like button for me and share this video to all your family and friends because you know why? Sharing is caring. So without further ado, let's jump into it so my first tip here is you need to find the location especially if you're going to use the property for the short-term rental location 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 okay they always say that because that's important yeah it is still working especially if you're going to use the property for investment property why the question is why always location because the answer is most people who come or visit a certain place like here in my area I am located not far from Disney World so it means like a lot of people who wants to stay here because they want to the vacation they want to relax they want to have a vacation yes th that's true I am not far from Disney World and most people come here just to visit the Disney World because they have family okay they have kids or if not the Disney World maybe they want to come here for a week they want to visit the Florida and also they want to go to the beach to the Key West you know all that stuff they are visiting the place because of the location so that's the number one thing why you need to get or you need to think about the location of the property where you're gonna buy or where you're gonna get your investment property okay that's the number one reason the second reason once you find your location all you need to do next is you need to find if this location is str or short-term rental approved you cannot just pick a location here in my area like here in central florida and then you decided like i'm gonna use this property i'm gonna buy this property and use it for short-term rental no you cannot just do that one you need to do your diligence you need to do your research why again because what will happen is if you don't do your research you will find like a property which is a very good deal but if you don't do your diligence or research you might find like this property is not allowed for short-term rental or even for long-term rental only for residential right so you need to find out like if this particular community or if this particular area is allowed short-term rental you need to remember that one I will give you like example which short-term rental allowed here in my area okay number one area is like the Davenport or the Polk County that is the main Airbnb area here in particular Central Florida or here in my area where the Airbnb or short-term rental allowed however not the all communities here in Davenport or Polk County is allowed like a short-term rental there are some communities which allowing the short-term rental However, there are like some few communities that they don't allow short-term rental, only long-term rentals, okay? By that instance, you need to think about it and you need to do more research, do more diligence. And once you find all your research and then this number three tip I'm going to tell you is you need to make sure that you need to do your comparables or how to compare the property that you're going to buy, if it's profitable or if it's too expensive, the property, compare to the property, what is selling in that particular area okay that makes sense so i'll give you an example so for example if you are looking for a single family house for airbnb okay you need to make sure that the price of the single family house is the right price for you before you ever get into the property why because if you go pick that property the single family house you love it and then suddenly at the end of the day you cannot afford it so what's the point of going to the property and then check it out and then see if you know if you can afford it so make sure that you know your price first and also make sure that you know the comparable if it's like this is the price of 300,000 single family house to whatever is selling in that community or if it's too high you know if it's too high
why you need to negotiate the property or the property cost if it's good enough you know go for it if it's not obviously you need to negotiate or something and make sure that you do your inspection as well and this is led to my inspection or inspection and this is towards to my tip number four okay once you find a property that you want to buy in this particular area in this particular community you need to make sure that this thing okay you need to remember this write it down if you have a piece of paper and pen you know write this, this down make sure you have at least minimum of three bedroom and two baths or you can have more or if you can get four bedroom five six or seven bedroom that's even better why because the more bedroom that you have it means the more revenue that you will get in your property especially for airbnb or short-term rental why again because imagine if you are staying in the hotel how do you pay in the hotel you're paying per room right so think about this if you have a whole big house for seven bedroom i would say and then people will pay per bedroom let's say per bedroom they will cost you a uh, hundred dollars per bedroom so if you have like seven bedroom there and then you can charge up to seven hundred dollars for the whole house for one night because you have seven bedrooms so more people can come to that property you know to stay over to relax and also to go to disney world or to come here in florida right so it means like the more rooms that you have in your property the more revenue that you will get so simple as like that but that's not it all right you need to think about this as well make sure that the property has a swimming pool as well why okay here if you want to go to hotel right what most people think about in the hotel do they have like swimming pool right or if you're gonna go to somewhere really hot place or like warm place what will you think about of you know going there what would you need to do go swimming right you want some water to enjoy right so you need to have like a swimming pool in that particular area so that people who's looking for airbnb and then they will look for swimming pool if you have a property with swimming pool I can tell you that the property will book the one with swimming pool compared the one without swimming pool. All right, even though the property has like both the same seven bedroom and the other seven bedroom has no swimming pool and the other one has swimming pool, I bet you the swimming pool will be booked more and also addition for this one if your property as well has like more bedroom like like six bedroom or seven bedroom what will happen is you will be on the rank of between six to seven or eight bedroom and there's not a lot of property here in my area especially that who's selling six bedroom seven or eight bedroom imagine how many people who could afford to buy seven bedroom eight bedroom here in my area and use it for a Airbnb. For example, if your property has like seven to eight or maybe nine bedroom, and then people who searching like a big family of let's say three families, they are looking for to stay here in Florida and they're looking for at least seven bedroom, you know, for each family. So what they will do is search in Airbnb or any website is um Airbnb like a property for at least accommodate for seven people, eight people, or maybe nine people. And if you have a criteria or a property with which is has seven eight or maybe nine bedroom boom who's gonna go in your property and what is your competition not a lot right and plus if you have a swimming pool where are they gonna book in your property right i hope that's helpful i hope that's not confusing if you have a question feel free to get your comment down below i will happy to answer your question and let's go to my final one which is my top five is you need to find someone will do this for you a local incredible realtor <clears throat> I always say this to my video I'm not saying this to hire me as a local realtor you know here in my area but if you know somebody who knows what they're doing you know it will be easier for you to communicate with that person at the same time you know it will help you to save some more time because time is gold I always say that if you're gonna do all these things that I've just tell you my first tip second third and fourth tip 
you know, it will time consuming and then suddenly once you decided that you want to buy and when you're ready, maybe high season of Airbnb or short term rental here might be gone. Okay, remember, if you are doing the short term rental here, they have a season, there's a high season mid season and low season i would say mid season when it's this not high that's not low it's just like middle season okay let me just give you this as a bonus so high season here as my experience is like when is the march april may june and july so those are the five months of high season so what is like the normal season i would say the normal season is august and September those are the normal season It's not too high it's not too low okay what is the low season here is the low season January February okay uh, and also I forgot uh, November and December is could be a high season as well because why there is like a Thanksgiving and also Christmas and New Year so those two months it could be high season as well but it could be also like a normal season. Those are my bonus for this particular video. Once again, if I miss something, feel free to comment down below. And if you enjoy this video, subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'll be here. I put my contact details somewhere here, 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 there. You know, you just find it. And then, you know, text me, call me, email me. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Okay? So this is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate your time. If you watch this video until this end, comment down below short-term rental. So I could see how many people who watch this video. And I appreciate your time watching my video. And I know I'm talking too much. So I'm out for today. Peace. Okay, but not, but not that's, but, 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 but.